Good morning everyone. We are going to discuss today dynamically overriding session parameters in HOD. Before we go to see the demonstration on the setup, there are a few important points that I would like to mention. Host on demand sessions are basically administered by the admin. This administration is done through a HTML page which is created by the administrator. This page is accessed by the client. But there are many times when someone wants to use certain session properties to dynamically set a value where this dynamic session overriding is useful. In order to dynamically set session properties at the time when HTML is accessed, the administrator must write a program that runs on the web server and effectively modifies the HTML just before it is sent to the client. Even though the initial session properties are not defined in the HTML, Post on Demand provides the capability to override many of the session properties in the HTML. These overridden values are always used by the client and take precedence over the initial session properties set up by the administrator. Another important thing is the overridden property is locked, so a user cannot change it. There are many ways in which an administrator could write a program to dynamically set one or more session properties using the HTML overrides, such as using JSP, Servlet, Perl, Rex, or ASP. In our setup, we will be writing a JSP program to override the session parameters. Parameters in HOD session that can be overridden are, for example, host, workstation ID. We will try to override the workstation ID in our setup. Other parameters are host backup 1, host backup 2, port, port backup 1, port backup 2, port page, session ID, LU name, LU name backup 1, LU name backup 2 screen size, SLP scope, SLP AS 400 name, SSL certificate source, SSL certificate URL, FTP user, FTP password, use FTP anonymous logon, FTP email address, prompt for destination address, CICS initial trans enabled, CICS initial trans and net name. In a typical setup or the setup that we are going to demonstrate, we are using some of the tools and softwares which I have depicted here like Java Development Kit, Apache Web Server, Host on Demand that is HOD. We will be using HOD 13 VM WebSphere application server, WAS plugin for Apache to forward the request to WAS, MySQL, the developer's version and Eclipse ID to create the wire file that is to write the JSP program and create a wire file out of that. So before you override the parameters, let us see how a hard session looks like when we try to access uh, a host without overriding any of the session parameters. So for that, I have created a HTML page named as test.html and there I have created two sessions. A session for 5250 looks like this. Here you can see display says this is the workstation ID. When I created the HTML page, I have given it a name ANIK. Now we want to see when you override the workstation ID parameter, then what happens? Let us go to a, a very brief explanation. I have created a JSP program whose name is login.jsp and it calls another JSP page which is bhanubns.jsp and in this page we will be retrieving workstation ID parameter which we have kept 
in a table in our MySQL database. Let me log in into the MySQL database. Let me see what are the databases available. I have created the table under the database sample. So use the database sample. Inside sample, I have few tables and I have created a table called master. So as you can see, here the workstation ID is USRONE and this workstation ID I want to override dynamically in our hot session. In this table I have also given the username and password. This username and password is taken by the login page and then the login page propagates to vhanubns.jsp and then shows the hot session with the overridden parameter. So let us see what happens when we try to override the parameter. So here you can see we are in the login.jsp page. HODT4 is a context root that I have set in the WebSphere application server. So when we put the correct user ID and password, then it will propagate to the VHANU bns.jsp page. So the user ID and passwords that you require to put are user1 and user1. So let us put user1 and user1. As you can see, it have already propagated to VHANU bns.jsp and here is our icon for the 5 to 5 zero session and when you open the session with overriding we can see we have overridden the workstation id which is usrone let us verify in our database we want it to override this workstation id and we have successfully overridden this parameter similarly we can override any of the 25 parameters that i have in the presentation so let us uh, briefly discuss what is happening in the background so as i told you the login page takes you to the bhanubns.jsp It is a bit long program. You can write this program in any way you want. Let me mention some of the major points. Here I have mentioned the database that I have created is sample. I wanted to connect to the database through this program and the username of the database is administrator. Password is admin123. So when this program wants to access MySQL database, it uses these two things. In the later part, it gets the overridden workstation ID and opens the hot session and overrides it successfully. I hope you understood how parameters can be overridden. It is not necessary that whatever tools and softwares we have used everyone have to use the same set of softwares or same version of softwares our aim was only to show that hod 13 supports the overriding of session parameters dynamically and it can be done through any means by writing any program as i described you in the presentation thank you very much for watching my presentation mm -hmm.